Even if you go in relax mode, yes, relax mode should have the steering much softer, and it is much softer, but Oh, the massage is on right now. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new BMW iX1 full electric version. I finally find the car and today we will do the test drive. Of course, in the future I will have a separate video full review interior exterior all the details about the car first of all first impression about the car at least with this gray matte beautiful color the car look really really nice also it comes with 17 inch rims they are quite echo i should say usually if you want the car to look better you should go with 18 19 20 they should look the car look much more sportier and better at least with this M Sport package because the car come with some M Sport package elements on it but with those rims it's kind of broke the design and the beautiful look of the car the great part of them and the positive part is that they are super economical and also we have a lot of rubber that been over the bumps the car will do great uh, in combination with the suspensions other than that we have ventilated brake this on the rear ventilated brake this in the front more about the exterior i will make a separate video today i don't have too much time i didn't have too much time to learn and to read about the car so we will make just the test drive down here we have a plate aluminium pedals i like that and i like also those leather vernasca seats that are kind of a dark brown color the quality it's awesome as bmw uses with and i like that uh, it comes also with this iceland here in the middle on the center console it looks lovely you have plenty of storage space in this area let's go inside the car let me put here uh, the key by the way this is the key super super nice key glossy plastic some chrome design around here uh, also you can lock the car open the trunk it looks really nice and it's very light once i'm here let me put the seat belt what i notice once i'm inside the car that it's a premium ambience here i like very much this insertion of uh this is quite kind of a woodish design but i think it's actually plastic i'm not sure about that it feels quite good as a quality i'm not sure if this is i think it's a plastic but uh it, it's really really look like like it's a wood we have some ambient light here chrome design i love uh the soft material leather here leather here i love the combination of materials and also it makes super sense all this chrome and glossy plastic and everything here it feels feels and look premium even the steering wheel uh it's quite premium it's the same dig steering wheel as bmw uses with great grip we have the m here with also this chrome insertion huge windows on the side i didn't expect that to have such a good big windows good visibility so the windshield in the front is not tilted too much it's kind of straight and you have perfect visibility uh, around the car good visibility in this mirror as well here electric adjustable seats let me give you some technical data before we start driving by the way the car uh, i have it from hauserman garage this is in arau so i will leave the link in the description if you are in switzerland around switzerland check them out guys if you want to test drive see the car buy the car check out hauserman garage in arau so the price of the car usually it's 83,810 francs but they already have a 10,060 francs discount so the final price will be 73,750 francs at Hauserman garage in RO. with all these options that the car come with it's the X drive 30 that means it's an all wheel drive system and it comes only in this model that's something for the moment that's something to keep in mind but it comes with all M sport packages 4,880 with frozen pure gray metallic color that it's fabulous this matte color the vernasca leather 19 inch rims you can see probably they changed they put this uh, 17 because they have winter tires on the car for sure 100 because usually the car should come with 19 inch m rims should look much better on the car i'm sure about that that's why i was a little bit confused in the beginning travel packages and all that stuff of course i will show you in another video 19 kilowatt hour is the estimated consumption consumption 2210 kilograms 180 kilometers is the top speed of the car 0 to 105.6 seconds 313 horsepower 494 newton meters also one speed automatic transmission 68 kilowatt hour is the uh, battery capacity 
and 440 uh, kilometer is the VLTP estimated range of the car 0 0.26 drag coefficiency 11.9 meter is the turning a circle the car come with independent McPherson suspension on the front and multi-link independent on the rear here we have also a space to put a phone and let's drive the car because enough with talking press the brake here's the start engine and you hear that classic electric car sound from BMW and here you have my moods on the my moods we have the new multimedia system the new cockpit I love it because you can customize it somehow in many ways the car come also with a head-up display directly on the windscreen it looks really really good I should say I feel like I'm in a BMW iX3 it's kind of the same feeling and also in uh, i4 electric version I feel really good. I mean, the premium, the everything, it's great here. And also the seats, you have a very, very good position. Anyway, here you have a few dri driving modes like personal mode, sport mode, efficient mode, expressive, relax. Uh, this is also my moods, you know, but in the same time, when you change them, uh, you give to the car also a little bit of different feeling on the acceleration. If you go in sport mode, for example, it's much more responsive. I will explain you that as we drive. Let's go in efficient mode first time. We have also pedal here, only one pedal that says boost when you press it this while you're driving it gives you like uh, 30 seconds or 10 seconds of maximum power uh, from what I remember I, I actually I didn't have too much time and here's the shift by wire transmission actually it doesn't have a uh, traditional transmission but you have D mode and B mode B mode mean that when you release the acceleration for example you press the acceleration you release it the car will regenerate the energy until it stop and then it will activate the auto hold function that it's here right now I activate it and it goes to a stop that means you can use one pedal drive I like that very much we will we will drive like that and if you go in reverse the car come with 360 degrees camera lovely lovely cameras around the car very very good visibility because you have this three dimensional view with six parking sensors on the front six on the rear lovely camera so nothing to say about cameras let's go in b mode let's drive the car i'm excited i'm i'm kind of a fan of bmw uh, cars the steering it's in echo mode and i already feel that heaviness and that sportiness feeling that bmw that kind of a, a signature that bmw use it on uh, their cars actually it's for the first time when i'm here so i'm not sure i don't know the streets really well i don't even know if i have a vignette for this car i have it for 2023 so we can go on the highway but the highway is quite uh far away from here so i'm not sure if you can go on the highway but still first impression very quiet very silent inside i like how silent it is i think we should go here on the main road oh yeah i like the, i like the grip on the steering wheel oh so many cars it's quite traffic let's go in quite quite traffic today at this time it's saturday why so many people it's quite strange i like it i like how it feels it's, it's also silent inside the car i barely hear any noise from outside quite interesting I have to memorize the, the road that I should come back. Wow, it's it's crazy silent. It, it, it doesn't compare with Tesla Model Y, for example, it's much, much better inside here. So the sound insulation in BMW, we already know that it's really good, but in this iX1 also it's gorgeous. Also here you can set the cruise control by the way the car come with a cruise control system that means you can set the speed from here you have also limited you can limit it or you can set it from down here you change the mood and then you set it for example right now I set it and then let me go down one more time yes and then go to 50 and right now the car will actually hold the steering wheel and hold between the lines what I notice also this autopilot from BMW it's very very good so they they did quite a good job with uh, the autopilot also you can see right now the car it's holding between the lanes just perfectly you can change from here you can set it so easy um, the the speed 
really good. I like it. I, I tested before this autopilot from BMW and it's super, super good. And what I see now, they bring it also on this iX1. So it's great. I mean, we have the newest this autopilot on the car. Uh, not only on the highway, you can see also it's worn new here with some LED lights uh, to hold the, the hand on the steering wheel, but also they bring it uh, on this car. That's why the price is bigger because they come with the, the big technology, guys. So this is great also. Uh, lovely visibility in the mirrors, big mirrors, huge mirrors, good visibility around uh, the windows. And also, let me deactivate this. If you press the brake you will deactivate it take the control a little bit but also um, I feel like the the everything feel premium even the pedals the brakes everything feel super super nice and right now we are in eco mode right now it's recuperate the energy you can see accelerate and release the acceleration and the car will go to a completely stop and also activate the auto hold function great i love that this is this is a great feature on an electric car to have and i feel like in b mode the regenerative brake it's quite quite powerful and i like that if you go in d mode accelerate release it the car will just kind of roll right now you can choose from the menu what kind of recuperation you want to have but you have to go in the menu a little bit more deeper there uh, but overall oh boy it's, it, it feels really good feel really good to drive also um, I didn't take too many bumps but I already feel that uh, the suspensions are very good and it's very comfortable being inside the, the car here you can adjust the seats in every position you want um, it doesn't feel very very tall it feels like you are in a crossover you know like crossover feeling more like a, a tall um, SUV here we have some pot and I go over the pot and it, it's good it's good it's really good the suspension are, are quite quite good uh, much better than Ionic 5 or Ionic 6 actually to be honest let's see if someone come there and then I should find a place where I can turn around because I don't want to get too much traffic it's crazy silent, I like it. They have some balls to do that. Anyway, over the bombs, crazy, crazy good. In echo mode, it's 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 the it's crazy good now let's change the driving mode let's go for example in sport mode that's quite interesting to see I cannot oh you hear that also it has an interesting noise that you can change it from the menu I will show you in the review video you hear that I cannot exit Oh boy, it, it's really responsive. Like 313 horsepower, pff, it's more than enough. All wheel drive, good grip. We will try also the acceleration to have, to see how good the grip it is. I don't know very well the streets here and the, the tickets in, in Switzerland that are super expensive. I don't want to get a ticket. That's why I will definitely drive a little bit more safe. But actually, let's go there and we turn around there. If I don't remember the road, I will definitely have to put the GPS. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. I, I feel like the car is pushing you back when you press the acceleration. It has quite a good torque. Okay, let's go up here. I can turn around here 
I think yes. Go in reverse, guys. Once you go in reverse, actually, let's go a little bit forward. Once you go in reverse, you will see that it will activate these 360 degrees cameras that are really good. I mean, you have such a good resolution. And also you can see how it's map up the ground there and you have like so many sensors. It's almost impossible to not park this car and also you have huge mirrors. Also in the front, you can see it's map up the ground down there. It's just perfect and I like this shift by wire transmission. It's so easy to change the gears. Now, let's go left. The steering, it's a little bit more stiffer in sport mode. I already feel that. Whoa, the grip, it's great. Man, I love it. And also the brakes feel great. Oh man, I, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect the car to be, to be so, so responsive. It feels faster than 3013 horsepower. I don't know why, I think here was right, if I'm not wrong, yeah. We come from there, I think so. And then if we try an acceleration from zero. Oh yeah, the grip is great, I like it. Man, it's quick, man, it's quick. And we have 17 inch rims. I think the handling will be gorgeous on, on 19 inch i'm really excited to test it also sadly i didn't find it only today i find this car uh here in switzerland and i i definitely have to test drive it i didn't prepare this video to learn a little bit about the car and to get some information but i say oh i have to do it i have to present you uh because i was also excited to drive it i i was i had in plan to buy a bmw x1 or ix1 and that why I definitely want to see how it's to drive and how it feeling, but, but it's definitely that the same quality, high quality BMW feeling, also the steering and driving feeling. Uh, I don't know how BMW manage to keep also in the electric cars, electric versions of BMW that BMW uh, feeling, driving feeling, that sporty feeling, that heaviness in the in the steering. I think we came from this area, I don't remember really well, but I think so. Uh, they still keep that gorgeous driving feeling like stiffness in the steering, Let, let's change it. Even if you go, for example, in, in expressive personal, let's go, even if you go in relax mode, yes, relax mode should have the steering much softer, and it is much softer, but Oh, the massage is on right now. The sound, it's a little bit different. You hear it of the engine. Now the car come with massage in the seats. How I know that? Because I feel it. Uh, also, I will present you in the review video if I had the chance to review it. Oh, it's pretty responsive also in relax mode. But it feels nice to be here inside the car. It feels really, really good perfect visibility suspensions are gorgeous um, the steering wheel and the driving feeling it's a proper BMW of course the steering it's a little bit heavier so you have to turn it a little bit more in order to, to... <laughs> look at this boy oh boy you have that instant torque oh boy I love it and the grip it's really good we start from zero, it's an all-wheel drive, an X-Drive, so it's normal to have a good grip, even with those uh, winter tires. Let's change the mode, because this sound, it's kind of annoying. Digital art, oh boy. Now it's it's different, but no, not, not for me. Maybe expressive will be a better choice. Ooh, you hear that? Ooh. Wow, it's interesting. I like this sound. You know, every time you change the driving mode, you have different sounds. Really cool, really interesting. <laughs> Let's go back to sport mode. Probably the, the massage in the seats will stop. 
and it didn't also here in the menu you have different views also you can see I don't know where is that I don't have time to look for it right now but you have that uh, energy view that shows you what happened with the energy like a nice graphic but overall it's a good car it's a well-built car even though it's not built on a proper electric platform BMW still manage to give you the electric driving pleasure and I like that great job BMW I like the car really really good job now I wish something from BMW to still keep that wheel here in order to change different things in the uh, in the menu that wheel will be gorgeous while you're driving and not stretching out there but still um, I like the car I think I managed to get back in the same place I hope parking I don't know I don't remember guys where was that here I did this roundabout or not yes I did it I think it's there I think this there is the street I, I'm sometimes I'm good with streets and I hold it in the head sometimes not that but from 100% 90 times I, I get it right anyway not bad the car is really good I will make a, another test drive more prepare in the future uh, with this car and I think I will stay at this roundabout for one hour yes, thank you if someone not let me to to pass the he was really nice I think I have to go left here yes 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 here or not here I don't know I'm not allowed to go left here I think not there is there is there is I have to go around like this I think I, I wasn't sure if I'm allowed to go left because it was like a step in the middle there wow but it's so silent I drive until here with my Tesla Model 3 and now when I drive this iX3 iX1 I really feel like it's, it's crazy silent so many cars around here and the sound insulation is good it has auto hold right now I don't hold the foot on the brake plenty of space here you have some ambient light you can see right now right now it's red um, also the vents good position it here new multimedia super responsive great great steering wheel I like it I like the car so many storage space here I have the key down here and the phone right there and I don't know how I can turn here. I will go left and then turn around and then right again. I like it. It feels good quality, even though the price is quite big. Uh, the quality of the car, it's, it's, it's nice. Soft material here, down here, you have plastic in this area, but on the upper side, you have soft material, soft here, soft here on the doors, electric, um, trunk I like it you can also customize the view the G meter you can see the G meter you can see so many things because it comes with this new digital cockpit and also the head-up display you can customize there I don't know if you can see it pretty well good visibility here the armrest it's perfectly positioned here also you can press this button and see around the car the cameras you can see the cameras around here you can see the view from the side <laughs> how cool is that I like it <laughs> really interesting and then you can also deactivate it <laughs> okay nice people around here let me turn around here or oh come on man I have to make a big trip in order to turn around I will turn around here and then we will get back very easy the turning circle 11.6 meter if I remember really well oh here it's a big bump and it's managed to do it great oh so responsive 
uh, there, this was a surprise for me. I know it has 313 horsepower, but still I feel like it's it's crazy responsive. And I didn't expect that. I didn't expect also the suspension to be so good. The visibility also I didn't expect to be so good. I know on the bigger SUV from BMW you have great visibility, but still. Now, the thing that is not that good on the car is the aerodynamic, the drag coefficiency, and it's normal because you have this shape. But in order to give you this shape and keep this body, um, they had to give up on something and this is the drag coefficiency and probably on the highway at high speed the efficiency is not that good but anyway i managed to bring the car in the same place from where i live but you know you have to be nice with people even though it's not a walk pedestrian walk it's still nice to be nice with people you know we have to be nice with each other. Anyway, I managed to bring it back. This is the place. And was a real surprise and a pleasure to drive this new BMW iX1. Now let's park it here. We park it quite easy. Just go like in reverse and you just park it. You can see you have 360 degrees cameras by the way guys you see there are so many electric cars around here and not only electric cars but if you want to see a new car a test drive check out on my channel because i have almost all those cars around here except this uh, ec4x that will come next week anyway put it in park you just go like that electronic handbrake where is the electronic here you press the electronic handbrake right now the car it's in p and that was the test drive. The massage in the seat, it's still working. I think I have to go here in the menu somewhere to change that or not. Maybe here, where is the massage? There are so many features here. There should be the seats. Come on, man. Anyway, guys, airbag. Seats comfort here on the seats. Driver position, auto set, seats massage seats one come on man seats massage stop yeah finally i did it anyway there are so many features to show you here in the menu but i will do it in the review video i hope you enjoy the video i hope you get some useful information from here that video was not prepared guys i will leave the link in the description if you want to see the car if you are in switzerland if you want to buy it if you want to test drive it check them out nice people and also they have 10,000 discount on this car even though it's a big price it's a very good quality and I was surprised with a few features that I already tell you in the video about. Anyway guys, if you like the video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. My rating for the car from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 because of the price. This is my rating. I'm super excited to make also the full review, but I will do it also in the next video. So click the subscribe to see that video when it will come out. Anyway, that was the video. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, ask me down below. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.